Hello everyone! Hello my Sparks! Welcome to Let's Play Astral Chain again. But hey. Honestly, honestly, we're close to the end of the series. So don't get too your hopes too high up. So what's this episode about? Well Well, it's mainly talking about what happens in Final 12. First, before we do anything, to finish up everything in 100%, you have to go here, purchase, and get the lappy head. Via this. Also, Resumex. You want this. We've collected all of them. And now we can now we have unlocked something. Uh quickly before anything. Just quickly do this. Because I do want to talk about them because they are important. And yeah, Kira's here. not seem right but she calls us bro. Billy Yeah, just talk to him to get if after you beat some cameras and all that. Here, there's nothing here. Oof. Upgrade. We can get the final upgrade. I might as well show this off, even though. Oh boy, cases are going to be important. Or at least 100 if you're wanting to get out 100%. Yeah, good job, Tabuchi. Somewhere, if we've done this class, 
But hey, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk Another about... Job well done. We haven't even done any of the cases yet. So these are the cases. These are pretty much... Well... Actually, I might as well show one of them. I'll show off this one. It's the easiest one. Pretty much, these cases are up against Chimera and, well, pretty much all the enemies you face up. We'll have to talk to all of them again, just to show off one more thing. This is where we can get our cleanup, pretty much. In these quests. The largest bag about give us some items to be able to use against enemies. But we've got a specific setup we have to use, so we can't gain any extra. Thankfully, it's not taking your inventory usually, so. Pretty much these are a common pass of who you are, the game. But there is one in particular we have to talk about. So I'll put it No matter what, we always get a premium code for this, I believe. So, for this case. There are some enemies that are only in these cases, so. If you want to get a complete enemypedia, you need to go through it. Ban room. Another job well. Well let's check all the cases again. Because these are the rewards for each of them and we would want to unlock all of them as well, because they do also unlock another case and that case Oh, there's more. Okay, because we need to go through them. Okay. Uh, so I might as well talk. Wait, I'm missing one. Uh, do I have to talk to? Oh, 
Okay, did I miss one? Okay, we will miss one. Another job. Okay, so pretty much what there's maybe one below here, and I don't remember where I must have missed that last quest. But doing all the happy quests and buying the last one from Brenda. As they're going, as you unlocking uh, one called Deskwork, which is you going about in the lab because you're peeing up thugs, chimera, and apparitions and hermits. I think it's hilarious. It's not that hard, and it's, you get the hilarious laughing music. It's great, and you're often laughing costume from it. So yeah. But now we have to talk about the infamous one. The infamous case R three B three. Oh boy, and, I, and this is what pretty much this episode is mostly going to be talking about. R three B three. So while I talk about it, let's go into training. R3B3 is... not really well and it's mainly because of what it is. So, what is r 3 Well, case R3B3 is a six-wave gauntlet, I'm told. There are two ways are just explosive chimera that aren't actually that bad to deal with. You just shield up like this and then jump once they surround you. But it's the other way that are a problem. The first wave is Genophase 1 with an Ice Queen and uh, a chimera that fires at long... That has drones that fire at long range. And yeah, they two of them have boss health, so guess what? It's not easy. Jenna hits like a truck, and the ice creams are really annoying. Uh, if you want my recommendation, get through, beat the ice cream first, and then try and beat Jenna. But if you can't, don't worry. Just try and get as much health saved. Next is this is. Is, a tree, is another tree, next is the bomb squad, then it's the tree, another tree fight against Kyle. Uh, I don't know what the enemy is called, but it's, it's a giant camera that just fires out the ears. And a camera that's called the Black Knight, that is pretty much a great sword camera like this. Take out the Black Knight, trying to defeat Kyle, and trying to defeat the big camera last. Next is the third wave, which is the Blade Legion, not the Sword Legion, Blade Legion, the one that Yosef uses. The Bronze Bronze Legion, which is again the Axe version of the Legion, but Yosef uses and Akira. I would take out one of the legions first, but then try and take out Akira, but if you can't, don't worry. Then the fifth phase is another bomb squad, and then phase six is actually considered to be easy, the easiest out of them. Them, which is Jenna Addison phase two, and an Ares. Which is an enemy that's only available in case 12. What's the matter, partner? Finished with your See you soon. Which yeah. Pretty hard to deal with Jenna while dealing with an Aries though, so 
even though it's easy, the easiest one is still pretty hard. So, what are my recommendations? Well, there's one of the quests that ends up giving you uh, a very strong slow code. I recommend getting the code and equipping it on as many legions as you can. So, but, so, we have to, uh, words, uh, what's, uh, my words are not working today, for some reason. Trying to remember. I'm heavily apologizing, I'm not remembering it. That's what I was going to be talking about next. Skills. So, for the so I recommend for that one, the Axe Legion, Blue Shield, either Crash Bomb or Raw Bind, depending on how confident you are. The Sword Legion, Hit Rush and Auto Bind, honestly. There's n none of the other ones are really good. Slow Shot and Hit Rush. Rush on Arrow Legion. For Arm Legion, you want to get Gravity Shot and Auto Bind or Hit Rush, either or for her. How not Auto Bind for this guy? And yeah, other than that, I can't really recommend Auto Bind ma having your legions max out. So uh, yeah, I this one's gonna be this is gonna be a very short episode, and that's pretty much because we. Can't really. There isn't really much we can do, and I don't want to waste poop time and more time for anything else because, well, I want to talk about the last thing we have to fight, and I'll be switching over to my actual proper file. So. I'll see you guys then for that. Xeno and Azuma is signing out for now. Seeing you guys very soon. <laughs>